Have you ever considered God's attitude of anger and hatred towards sin? I'm Craig Combs, one of the pastors at Christ Memorial Church. God gave a vision to the prophet Nahum during a very hard time in the life of Israel. The northern kingdom had been sacked and exiled by the Assyrians, and now the southern kingdom of Judah was being harassed by them as well. And God revealed to Nahum his coming judgment on Nineveh, the Assyrian capital. Judah was comforted to know that their enemy would not prevail. God's wrath toward Assyria would be terrifying. He said he will not leave the guilty unpunished. He said none can stand before his judgment. He said judgment will come as an overwhelming flood. Nineveh's name will perish and the horrors she would see. Chariots running wild. Palace washed away by a flood. Treasures plundered. He said there'd be hearts melting and knees knocking in terror. And the nation would be humiliated. Her skirt lifted up, exposing her to the world. She would have filth thrown on her. All this reveals God's attitude of anger and hatred toward sin. But wrapped inside that oracle, God also included a promise to deliver his people. Their oppressors would be cut off, he said. Behold, on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace. And he said, the Lord will restore the splendor of Jacob. All these historical events seen by Nahum are forward-looking prophecies concerning the Lord Jesus Christ, through whom God would both accomplish his terrifying judgment upon sin and also provide sweet deliverance for his people. Jesus hung on the cross to pay for the sins of his people. His humiliation and suffering unto death at God's own hands paid the price due to his people for their sins. He rose to accomplish the restoration of his people. It is through Christ that good news comes to sinners. Just as Judah needed deliverance from her Assyrian oppressors, so sinners need to be set free from the enslaving oppression of sin through Christ's death and resurrection. Good news is announced in Jesus' name. Peace with God is offered in Jesus' name. God be praised. Jesus has suffered the wrath of God and made peace for us.